What's going on everybody? Did you hear? Bringing more V-Pets. Today guys, uh, I'm going to quickly go over uh, the Ivachi uh, and then we'll go over what this thing is behind me, uh, behind our hands. So we still got uh, this angel. I found out after, you know, of course you've seen the video. This uh, this ball angel is called uh, Lelio. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And interesting fact, if you've never seen the anime, and I didn't watch completely, I watched the skip around in the anime, but this angel is actually that tiny little black uh, line down there. This ball you're seeing on the main screen, that's actually just a shadow. Because it's, kind of, it's like an extra dimensional or fifth, sixth, or some kind of dimensional, extra dimensional being. And the shadow is this ball thing. But the actual self is that black kind of, it's like a black spherical thing on the ground. So that was really cool to see. Uh, this is just an interesting fact, guys. So, uh, it's just waiting for this to die, taking care of it, uh, as best I can. Uh, that's it. Over here, so you might be wondering what this thing is. Sorry, that light. Uh, this is called a, uh, Game Kitty GKD 350H. That's a handheld emulator. Uh, it's, I didn't know these are really a thing. I mean, I've been seeing some stuff, but not exactly like in this kind of form factor. But this is a handheld emulator. Uh, of course, you can download emu uh, uh, ROMs and emulators onto the system and play them. Uh, the main reason, uh, let me turn this on quick. The main reason, I got, or one of the main reasons I got this was to play the PlayStation Digimon games. Uh, it open, runs on a Linux-based uh, system. Uh, and see there's emulators. Uh, click here. So yeah. So, you know, one of the main reasons I got this was to play the Digimon games. Uh, and I, I like having them to take around, more of a portable guy. Uh, I, never, I was never really into sitting down. I mean, you are still sitting down playing games, but it just feels different. And I can take this on the go. Of course, I can I can take this, you know, my laptop on the go, but then I got to carry a controller too. And that just seems like a little much. Uh, and a little too much. Uh, but yeah, the screen actually looks better than what you see in the camera here, just the way that it interacts with the camera. You might see some kind of flashing back and forth. But uh, the camera, the screen itself is pretty good in person. Yeah. So yeah, fully playable. The only that, that kind of sucks is that this thing doesn't have L, uh, R1 and or R2 and L2 and doesn't have a right analog stick. Although not many, not a whole lot of games need it. Uh, the Digimon games, they don't need the, those, I don't think, for sure. At least, they don't need the right analog stick. <laughs> Maybe, I'm not sure about the uh, R2 and uh, L2. But yeah. So, there's that game. Oh, get out of there. And the other reason, uh, that V-Pet related, is to have the Wonder Swan. Uh, Wonder Swan is a Japanese uh, handheld console. Uh, kind of a release, kind of kind of side by side in a way as like the Game Boy but from a different company and they had different games they actually have a whole slew of Digimon games that you know that never made it onto uh, Nintendo based systems but one of them is the Wonder Swan uh, Digimon digital uh, digital monsters version the V pet version version of Wonder Swan sorry here we go and this is basically a V pet simulator uh, official one uh, way back in the day uh, it's only in this black and white skate <laughs> tonal scaling colors. Uh, I already started this. Uh, I'll do like a full review or playthrough later. Just I'm still trying to get used to the, the game the mechanics itself. Uh, so it looks very really strange. Uh, I kind of figured out some of this by myself, but there's a whole lot I still don't know about it. Uh, like when we first start, you don't have any Digimon. Uh, you you have to go buy an egg. So you go to the shop here, you know, and you buy an egg. And I guess you can sell Digimon later to get different versions of the other eggs, but I haven't got that far yet. Okay, uh, let me show you who I got so far. Um, ta -da! We got this Devimon. Alright, so here, you know, you have your stat screen. We just go back here. Uh, here you can feed it. Uh, and then here you can train it. I guess you can do the other versions once you lock the other eggs, I suppose. I haven't got that far yet. Here's your clean the poop. Uh, here's some mail. I I haven't got any mail yet. I'm not sure how that goes. Again, I'm just barely started. Uh, here's the light off to go to sleep. Here's where you fix any injuries or sickness. Oh, there's some poop. Oh. Oh, and one thing that's really cool, you can just go up and down. Like, straight up and down, basically. Instead of just scrolling all through them. Uh, I guess, I'm not sure what this one. I guess you have some potions that you can buy. 
Uh, freezing mode. I'm not sure what this one is. I guess we just freeze it. I guess that's it. Yeah. Although, not the, like it does not like it matters a whole lot. Uh, this timer down here, that's actually the time of the day. And, you know, seconds are basically minutes in this version. Uh, but if you go back to the main screen here, you can actually control the time. You can jump forward in time however long much you need uh, to make up for, you know, because Digimon normally Digivolve, you know, by waiting, waiting it out. But of course, you're not going to have this system, this game on for 24 hours. And so this way, you know, you can just play as much as you want or you don't have to play as much as you want. However much time you want to put into this is however many Digimon uh, or your you will get your your effort will go will show really show with this device you know, this this game. Of course, I haven't put too much effort because uh, I don't know. I at one sometimes I kind of feel motivated, but the other times I don't because just the fear, sheer fact that you can control the uh, evolution timing kind of by you know progressing it forward, moving the clock forward. It's just such a, it's so nice, because yeah, you can just do it on your own terms. Like, you know, if you're not busy, if you're busy, you can just turn it off and, you know, come back to it later and turn the hours a few a few hours ahead of time. Go a whole day, few whole days ahead of time, too. Uh, so, this is pretty cool. Uh, I'll show you the training quick. This, I think it's just automatic. I, as far as I can tell, you're just pressing the right at the top. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I really don't think it matters. I mean, maybe it does. Yeah, it looks, some of them look the same to me. Uh, yeah. And I guess when it turns into a, a, a perfect form, uh, you know, an ultimate in English, I just sell it, I guess, and I can get more eggs from the shop. That's what I'm thinking. But uh, I'll do a full review later <laughs> once I actually kind of get a little bit more handle on this. Uh, so this is what I've been doing uh, most of my time recently, uh, working on, you know, getting uh, ROMs onto this and, you know, just playing through the playthrough. Uh, pretty cool device. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the comments, uh, uh, the, yeah, sorry, I'll leave a link down in the uh, description below if you guys want to check this out. There, this is just like one of the, there's so, so many, like there's like 20 or so handheld emulators out in the market right now. There's so many out of out there, guys. Some are better than others. Uh, I paid around, I think, with shipping and everything, came out to be around eighty dollars. But uh, yeah, uh, this thing is pretty nice. I mean, it doesn't do everything, but it does what it needs to. And it has a cool green translucent color. And translucents are awesome. <laughs> uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of this. Uh, I mean, I will show you more of this uh, later if you guys want to see more, or we'll just see what happens. Uh, that's the Ibachi. That uh, we are treated to a scene in the Ibachi. This happens like uh, throughout the day. Usually, uh, different scenes will show up, uh, and you know, you just press this button. Usually, if there's something more, it turns to something more. Otherwise, it's just a little scene of day-to-day -day life, I guess. All right, that's it for today, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button and make sure to hit the subscribe and notification bell. And as always, don't forget to feed your digital pets. Peace.